Hey, this is Brian. And Shelby. And you're listening to the Hyperspace Pod Blast. Aren't you a little short for a podcast? Huh? Hey everyone, just want to let you know that this episode has spoilers for The Last Jedi, like all of them. All of them. Every single one. And some spoilers for the Battlefront 2 campaign. And Phasma a little bit. And Phasma a little bit. So, just a heads up, (laughs) if you listen any further, don't be mad at us. Don't at me, bro. We told you. Etc. Don't y'all see that Last Jedi movie or what? (sighs) (laughs) (sighs) Yeah, so... We have we have words. This is uh, first impressions. We've seen it once. We went tonight at the Maya Theater in Bakersfield, California, and we saw it at seven o'clock. We had a good time with our good friend petrophysicist Ann. Petrophysicist Ann and uh, did a couple interviews in line. Good people. Um, had a really good conversation with two young girls. Uh, so shout out to David. I think his name was. I'm bad at names. So if that's wrong, I don't know. Some really dude sorry, named, not yeah, David. <laughs> some dude named David was like, yeah. I remember that. Um, But anyway, yeah, The Last Jedi. So what are we doing? What are we doing, Shelb? So I think what we're going to do is we're going to do first impression in one sentence. Okay. And then we're going to go to talk about big things. And then we're going to talk about little things that were actually kind of big things. (laughs) Seemingly little things. Um, And then we'll go details, just things that were fun and interesting. And if we have time, we'll just kind of talk about the questions that this movie opened up. Right on. So what's your sentence? My sentence is... The Last Jedi was everything I wanted and everything (laughs) I didn't know I needed. Wow. Very well said. It's big, big words. Yeah. That's that's heavy. Thanks, dude. Mine is, uh, I went in a different direction. I, I said, there is always a constant shift toward balance in all things, as well as a consistent force pulling things one way or the other. Wow. Mm-hmm. Deep, dude. Yep. You went a little more meaty. Yeah. Well, I think... I think that was sort of the overall theme of the movie from both the Force side of things and from the Finn side of things, um, so to speak. Because, you know, you had... Basically, to me, DJ represents the middleman, like the whatever, Mm -hmm. I'll do whatever it takes, you know, I'll play either side type thing. And then, you know, you had Kylo and Rey with their back and forth thing Mm -hmm. of balance and, you know, Snoke with his great line from the trailer. Uh, So, yeah, bada bing, bada boom. Big things. Big things. What's your first big thing? (sighs) My first big thing is it's got to be Leia and her. She got ejected pull. from the freaking ship. And I pulled honestly, herself back. That's oh amazing. My God. I thought I was like, really? That was it? Yeah, right. I really I was, did. And at first, I was just like, oh. And then I was like, oh wait, that's really not that great. I I was kind of amazed. I was like, how did they do this? How did they like change the movie like this? That's what I was thinking. Oh yeah, like, I was just like, yeah. how did they show her how, on crate and all this? Yeah, and like, I was like, I was convinced. Yeah, I was like, wow, they they okay, really okay. That's they probably shot that just to make us not think that she died at this point. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that was amazing. I thought that someone was going to swoop in and like save her. Mm-hmm. But like, instead, man, she saved herself. Oh, pr- that princess is always saving herself. True story. Yeah, that was that was amazing. Um, yeah. I cried. Yeah, I basically teared up at least every time Leia was on the screen for more than five seconds. I know. I just but, don't know what they're going to do now. Yeah, that's a big... Whew, that'll be something we, we, we wrestle with for the next two years. Yeah, but, but anyway, anyway. Yeah, another big thing. How about that lightsaber pull that literally pulled the lightsaber apart? Oh, wow, yeah. I haven't really had time to digest that one yet. That yep. like breaks my brain a that little bit. That might be one of my favorite parts. Really? Yeah, just because like that, it, again, that represents the balance. They're both pulling and the balance can't maintain, so it breaks. So like it's literally showing that the two of them break the balance. Yeah. <laughs> they both Which, have decided yeah. to break the balance and they've chosen their sides. Mm-hmm. Which makes me wonder, is this going to be like uh, like other people have said with the whole uh, Voldemort Harry situation where, oh, you know, they both have to die. Yeah. Mm. But we'll get some kind of weird force reincarnation thing with Rey so she can be like Harry and still be alive. Mm. 
<laughs> okay. That's completely out there. No also, one, I'm no one quote me on that. The the big reveal that like Snoke was manipulating the both like both of them the whole time. Mm-hmm. I mean, that further convinces me that Kylo never saw a Force ghost or uh, oh no, Vader. that was Snoke messing with that him the was, whole time. He's Absolutely. been he's been so manipulated mm-hmm. for so long. I just I don't believe that anything that Kylo has seen or done within the Force is like real in his mind. Right, and I think I mean they they push us toward no redemption i think but the only thing that could make it happen is the fact that he comes around to the idea that all this darkness was like given to him as a falsitude it was forced upon him he didn't choose it necessarily or he chose it as you know folly right so what do you think about the big reveal that the reason kylo ren kind of like that thing that pushed him over the edge is that it was luke that was that had his moment of weakness yeah that's uh it's like here's the story no here's this story no here's the real story right exactly that's and you know for most things that's the truth lies somewhere in between you know what i mean so that was the balance we, yeah, we finally again. got the balanced story at I know. the end exactly Man. see so a whole movie also what's up okay i i just have to say this right now i know we, we aren't <laughs> doing questions but he took a couple of his students with him yeah like where were they what's up with the knights of ren yeah. Or were they like the Praetorian Guard? Did they turn into the Praetorian Guard? I don't I don't know. We'll probably get that in a comic book or something. Yeah, I don't know. Like that that's that's something that I'm I'm trying to yeah. like wrap my head around. Basically all that. Like who is Snoke? <laughs> at, at this point, I guess he's we basically still don't know. he's basically a plot device. Like yeah, he's I'm, literally a plot device. I'm a little bit I'm a little bit disappointed. Yeah. I I feel like in, that's in the death of Snoke. Yeah. That's one place where Ryan was like, what do I do this weird old dude? I'm going to give him a gold robe then I'm going to cut him in half. Yep. Give him the mall treatment. <laughs> so that means he'll be back, obviously. Yeah. I I made the joke. I'm like, I don't know. I've seen people come back from worse. At least he didn't fall down like a, you know. I think that's what saved Maul though. Like we get to see <laughs> a close-up of Snoke with his dead tongue stuck out there. Yeah. So I think he's pretty well I think toast. he's toast. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's a little disappointing. Like, he was cool. Like, actually, they sold me on him before they killed him. Yeah, he was way cooler him. in the movie when he than... Did, when yeah, he did the force lightning. Oh, yeah. That was really cool. And, like... Uh, yeah, and to know to to grasp the idea that he was manipulating two very mm. two of the most powerful force users. Yeah, he's a very like he kind of manipulated things the way Palpatine did, except Palpatine didn't really use the force to do it. He just moved pieces Palpatine like a, whispered in ears. And, yeah, exactly. You know. And Snoke just like made it happen. He was like a I don't know. He's like the bad version of Professor X. <laughs> yeah, I think you know. There's something about Snoke that I say you have to acknowledge how powerful he truly is with the oh, Force. Absolutely. To be able to manipulate two Force users into th- seeing what he wanted them to see. Mm-hmm. And speaking of what he wanted them to see, is Ray really no one? I know. I was thinking that too. It's like, yeah, he says, oh, they're no one. This is blah, blah, blah. Was that real? Mm-hmm. What What even is real? That, I mean, I don't know. I think she is no one. I do. But, yeah, I think so too. I but think, I, I think mean, it's a cool way to take the story. It is. And you know what? It, it put it to rest, like for Ray, because Ray needs to just accept that, you know. Yeah. This... And I think this is almost like a way for Star Wars to speak to everyone everyone and say i mean i think this whole thing flipped everything backwards i think this movie flipped everything backwards saying to be the most powerful force use it's not about being a skywalker Mm -hmm. it can be no one at any given time um luke was a no one sure he was a skywalker yeah (laughs) he was a no one that was someone but he was a no one until we found out who he was later yeah and you know what it so anakin was a no one that's true. Anakin was definitely no one. I mean, literally no one. Like, mm-hmm. no father, no one. <laughs> so. I thought that's where they were leading us toward with the whole, like, reflection thing. <gasps> oh, yeah. dude. Which was, you know, obviously Ray's version of the cave on Dagobah. Mm-hmm. Nice and a little nod there. Yeah, um, I liked that. I feel like... Speaking of Dagobah. Okay. Mm. I know. Oh, my gosh. Yoda was great. And I like how Luke couldn't set fire to the tree. And Yoda's like, (laughs) Yeah, screw it. I got you. (laughs) That was, yeah. That was an interesting interesting nod. And I'm glad they didn't overdo it and, like, try to, you know, Tarkin in Obi-Wan. 
And I'm kind of glad Anakin wasn't there. Yeah, I think I was, a lot of people wanted to see a Force Ghost Anakin, but I'm. Um, I, there, not really I mean, the all number one it. reason why I wanted to see a Force Ghost Anakin was to like get definition on like Force Ghosts and Kylo, who <laughs> he was seeing. Yeah, you know. So now that I understand that it was most likely just Snoke manipulating him, I'm not like begging for it. Right on. And Yoda's words of wisdom to Luke in that like moment is so mm-hmm. great. It's like his final lesson. I like how he force bonked him on the head too. That was cool. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> yeah, so I really enjoyed it. Um, the force apparition. Yeah, that was. That was intense, and it's it's funny after after you see it, there are so many signs that hey, that's not really Luke. His hair was cut. Yeah, he's his wearing clothes a were completely changed. different outfit that we've never seen. Um, Petrophysis Anne noticed. Yeah, uh, he, she's like he's not making footsteps. Yeah, they 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 show Kylo doing his foot thing. And you don't see it with. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm like thinking back. I'm like, how did I not see right. that? Right. And then of um, course you have the lightsaber that was broken in half. How's yeah. How's he using that? I was just like, oh, I guess he made a new one. Yeah. I, I don't is... know what my brain was thinking. And then also like all of that stuff. <laughs> yeah. All the laser at him, things. Yeah. I, and I'm like, oh, he's just that great with the force. Yeah, he's and it's, just I like not how it. There. <laughs> I like how it, it. It essentially was trolling Star Wars fans of how far we'll go to bend our minds around things to make it work. True. And then it's like, actually, none of it. It was real. Yeah, that was pretty. I did not see that coming. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna spit my theory now that Luke was able to use that lightsaber because it had broke, so it had died in the Force. Hmm. So it was. That's how he was able to block things with an apparition. And the Leia Luke reunion. Oh yeah, that was. Even though it wasn't real. It was real enough. Which I don't understand. I'm guessing she didn't actually have the dice. That's why they went away when he picked them up. Oh, he just kept... When Kylo picked them up. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. They, they like... For some reason, I thought Ray did that. mm okay. they, Yeah, they left him there. It was kind of like a nod to, uh, you know, when he says, just like your father, if you strike me down in anger, yeah. I will never leave you just like your father. And then he sees his, you know... I love that. Yeah. Loved it. Mm-hmm. Loved it. Um, yeah, you know, the call to the Obi-Wan sort of situation. And, yeah. and Luke disappearing into the force i love that ray even articulates on screen it's not sad it's right peace mm-hmm. purposeful which, which peaceful. is what luke needed so badly he was broken yeah yeah and then you see he has his like twin sons moment you know what i mean it's, oh i know it's like it all comes back to where it started and then he and his roby thing blows away beautiful it was beautiful. And speaking of beautiful, yeah, this, this movie was, was the really most beautiful well shot. Star Wars movie ever. It was so gorgeous. I loved the cinematography. It was just amazing. Mm-hmm. I can't argue with that a bit. It was it's gorgeous. It was it was a ride. Um, what did you think of the length? I liked it. Yeah. Because you I, know what? Honestly, I felt, I was like, oh, wow, it's over. <laughs> like, I mean, I, I never felt that, oh, my God, this is still going. Oh, wow. We have yeah, a long they, way to go. Well, they fit a lot. Like, that movie takes place over the course of, like, eight hours. I know. It's insane. Yeah. Because, I mean, they keep reminding you, too, like, with uh, Finn and Rose. Mm-hmm. Oh, we have si- they have six hours of fuel. Right. Yeah, exactly. And I'm just like, wait, what? It was crazy. That's probably the least amount of real time that a Star Wars movie has ever taken. Yeah. Phasma dying. Oh, yeah. That Phasma's freaking pointless. <laughs> I'm sorry, Phasma honestly, fans. Honestly, I would say that I wish I didn't know. I haven't read the book. Um, I've read the first issue of the comic. I wish I hadn't consumed any of those because otherwise I think I would have loved Phasma for the small role she was playing. Yeah, on screen, she's the perfect bad first guy. order bad guy. like To the core. Yes, man, kind of. Like, and, I, and that's what I wanted. Perfect I mean, soldier. I always was talking about how I wanted Phasma to be pure evil. Mm. The and films she, gave it to us, but if I just didn't know what was going, I don't know where to start. Just talking about wanting Phasma to be pure evil. Mm-hmm. I just I just wanted Phasma to be pure evil, and if I just didn't know what some of the things that happened in the book and the and the comic, it just yeah, her backstory is basically pointless. I don't like it. I w- I to me, I'm just like not calling it a real thing. To me, I'm just not calling it a real thing because I like on screen Phasma better. Yeah, and the idea of her being just a terrible person. It's weird because they they 
try so hard to tie these things together and then that one i mean it's neat it's you know you look at it and like oh i know her backstory but it literally doesn't matter but so say la vie do you have any other big things before we move on to seemingly small things oh my gosh i sure i have a million of them i know we're gonna be talking about this forever (laughs) yeah so sorry we're gonna try and figure out how to break out our thoughts on the last jedi (laughs) instead of just like continuously like okay this week we're gonna continue talking about the last jedi i feel like i've already forgotten like half the movie i know i know so seemingly let's let's just i I can't think of any other super big things i guess haldo's big reveal of plan maybe yeah just how they were gonna end up on crate i i I honestly by that point i'd forgotten i'm like oh yeah they go to crate (laughs) yeah and then canto bite stuff yeah, the Canto Bite. Actually, we can talk about that for a minute because that was cool. Canto Bite is amazing. Like, first of all, Rose is a great character. Rose is. And Rose had so many great, wonderful moments. Oh, big moment. Finn almost dying. Oh, yeah. And true. Rose saving him. Yeah. And then loving him and kissing him. Oh. Ah! Kissy, kissy. I'm so happy. It's. Yeah. I mean, I'll be I'm completely honest. I'm still. Die, though. I'm that was good. I'm glad she did not die. I am still mourning pofin <laughs> so there's still time hey what about poe ray now though um oh yeah there, I-, I love how they reminded there. <laughs> they reminded everybody of oh hey guess what these two characters who you love and you followed for like all this time they've never met yeah <laughs> they did that and it was like oh yeah huh <laughs> i know that i loved it i loved it and they did it in a great way to like it was so like hey audience remember these people have not met before mm-hmm. yeah and i like that that whole sequence on crate was kind of like a trope killer because you have finn's gonna make this sacrifice to save everyone and rose is like oh no you don't and then it's like oh i sacrificed myself Ugh. i sacrificed myself to save you no psych i'm still alive too <laughs> and then luke comes out to do his big sacrifice and it's like no psych no. i'm not actually even there i know <laughs> and i mean this movie was so many trope killers and as well as like just like oh you thought this was another star wars movie but it's not it's and I, there's like some opposites too i was talking about dj being i'm like oh so this is our new han solo character the guy mm-hmm. who has a, actually a heart of gold even though he's kind of a nah, he's ball. Alter- yeah he yeah, he gave uh rose's necklace charm back and, and i was, I was like, like okay we got our new han yeah. And I mean, but you know, I liked it. And then we have yeah, I think DJ the, is one of my new favorite. The characters. parallels between Kylo and Rey and Anakin and Padme of the rule by my side over the galaxy. Right. I yeah loved it, loved it. And you know, the fact that we have that moment of redemption and like when the, where the rubber meets the road in front of the big bad. Mm-hmm. Kylo chooses to still go dark and Anakin decided to go light. You'll never be as powerful as Darth Vader. True. Ray said it first. <laughs> Yeah, that was. I mean, what could they have done otherwise, though? They 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 wrote themselves into a corner there because Hux and the First Order without Kylo Ren is completely yeah. outmatched in nothing. Can you really put Hux as the leader of the First Order with Kylo on the other side? No, absolutely not. There's there's not. That's. I mean, that would be you. The <laughs> the Episode Nine crawl would come up and they would explain that Leia died. Uh, but Kylo and Rey destroy the First Order, and then it would just be the end, and the movie would be over. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you Kylo's our new big bad. Yes, for sure. I don't believe there is any turning back now. And I know people will argue, like, oh, look, he did do something good, and all this well, stuff. Yeah. And and like, I, I think it, it, it's like we said earlier. It can still be explored a little bit, I think. Yeah, with the whole, you know, he, he was consumed by the darkness based on manipulation. So his actual heart might not be dark but it but, turned dark once he realized luke had that moment of weakness it turned dark whenever he realized i have the power now and let's rule the galaxy yeah no i i don't think we're gonna see redemption now i think that ship has sailed though there's you know i mean i'm not gonna rule it out yeah i'll say (laughs) i personally it's like they keep telling us like no this guy's actually bad no this guy really is actually bad yeah but then you know who knows who knows what happens at the end okay so moving on to seemingly small things yeah that are big things things that are big things now now it's worth it now it was worth it the moment oh gosh yes where she takes the saddle saddle off the off the fothier 
<gasps> yeah. As I, animal loving people that hit us right in the wheelhouse. I cried. Yeah. His face. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I loved it so much. I love the inclusion of just creatures in general. Like this was <laughs> creature heavy. Oh, the the milk thing. I forgot about the yeah. milk thing. Like, oh god, that, that was, was gross. nasty, but I loved it. <laughs> it was uh, that's basically just Luke trolling her, being like, look, I'm a weird, gross guy. You don't want to be here anymore. I know. <laughs> <laughs> His fishing was cool, though. I mean, he's... The yeah. big spear. That was that was neat. <laughs> Ray's joke that you don't have anything to do is just pretty funny, too. Yeah. Um, yeah, just animals in general. Um, very cool. Um, porgs. Everyone that said Chewie gets to eat porgs is just oh my God. screaming right They're now. They're like, <laughs> I know. And like the, the crying porg. Yeah. Like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> Uh, it was a little corny that like the feet were still there yeah it's like a way for them to say oh hey look this isn't just some other bird on the island <laughs> this was a pork legitimately yeah a pork also i love the porks um building the nests yeah they're basically them. like bird cockroaches <laughs> well they're like um pigeons pigeons or something like that yeah. yeah um i loved it yeah i think i thought we were gonna get more honestly yeah i'm like, glad we didn't I but i'm glad we didn't it yeah. was like the perfect amount of pork oh I, I was worried they were gonna be annoying but yeah we basically saw every pork moment in the trailers which i'm okay with yeah. I does, that doesn't bother me nope. um other small moments uh the compass from <gasps> battlefront 2 yes the compass that was cool i feel like we have some serious questions about that compass i think that i'm going out on a limb and saying that's what let him dock to I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's what led him to Octu. I think so, too. I'm not sure what it specifically shows. If it shows you where you want to go. Yeah. If we're going Pirates the, of the yeah, Caribbean. It's the Disney crossover. <laughs> um, or if it shows... I, I have a feeling it might show um, your way to Force-sensitive Yeah, that's what I think it is. Things. It's some kind of Force compass. I think it's a Force compass because that's why the Emperor would want it. Right. Um, I also thought it was interesting that we see that Rey collected the books. Oh, yeah, dude. So <laughs> Luke has that whole moment and Yoda brings down the actual lightning, which I guess was sort of like a force move sort of, of actual lightning. Force I don't know. lightning, I guess. It's, it's kind of technically under. force lightning. Yeah, it's forced lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, he burns down the tree, but there's no books in it. So they have this whole conversation about the tomes not necessarily mattering, and then she keeps them anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, seeing the uh, little kid at the end with the broom. Yeah, that was a cool moment. Was, I want one of those rings. Like I right want. Now. I know. Space jewelry, man. I want the slider secret resistance ring. Mm -hmm. Super bad. Um, all of the small moments, I would, I guess I'd call them small moments because they were just little chunks of um, stuff with Poe. Yeah, the I'll, I'll hand it to uh, the EU stuff. The Poe comic has really, like, is really synchronous with the way Poe acted in this movie. It's, uh, it's really led you to understand his character more, how he interacts with Leia, what their relationship is like so i would definitely recommend that one that's that's been a really good addition to canon <laughs> man okay um i guess it's seemingly small even though it's large the uh first order dreadnought yeah right the thing i thought it was going to be kind of lame but it was kind of yeah the pizza ship ended up looking pretty cool awesome yeah i loved it and um yeah also love the gorilla walkers <sighs> They were great. Yeah. I, I guess you'd also call this a big thing, but Haldo, um, light speed into. That was cool. Yeah. That was very, uh, Battlefront 2 esque. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know what to think about Holdo at first, but she I grew liked, on me. Yeah, exactly. And I liked her and Leia's moment. Oh yeah, it was nice. She was cool. She definitely went out with a bang. Yeah, I'm sure we'll get a lot of <laughs> extended information about her. Yeah, I think she's already been in the the Leia book that came out. Yeah. Um, but I haven't read it yet, so I don't know. Okay. And how about Maz Kanata? Oh my gosh, <laughs> I love it. That was Union Uprising. Killer. Is what she was saying. Yeah. <laughs> she takes uh, time out of her busy combat environment to talk to him real fast. She's so amazing. I can't wait to see more of her. I think we will, by the way. Yeah, I, I think so. She's too. such a fan favorite. Also, BB-8. 
Oh man, speaking of the Poe comic, just like in the Poe comic, BB-8 saves the day like literally all the time. I love it. I all love it. Time. Well, he's the new R2 in a way. Pretty the, much, yeah. The save the day R2. Yeah. The um I love seeing him dip into the ship to like yes, try to, to fix, fix it. things that and it's cool. almost like spr- like a, a leak in a dam. <laughs> yeah. And exactly. he's like trying to <laughs> Every to time plug you it put up your and then he uses in. his head. It's like an old Looney Tunes cartoon. Yes, I liked that. I liked <laughs> it. Was it. Cool. it was a little corny, but I liked it and um him in the uh Oh, the BB-8 Walker. The BB-8 Walker. <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah, that was hilarious. BB-9E had its moment. Yeah, got to uh, blow the whistle yes. on the sneaky, sneaky guys. Yes, and we saw some of the other BB units rolling around. Yeah, I didn't catch any of that, but... Oh, I was like... <gasps> yeah, you're a BB magnet. I am. <laughs> That's funny. I like that. Nice. Um, small details. They were kind of edging towards small details. Yeah, small details. There's so my many. small detail was Chrome Dome. Oh yeah, that was hilarious. Finn calling Phasma Chrome Dome. I loved. Yeah. Uh, and then also, um, some of the like you know just the funny bits. Mm-hmm. I suppose there was some good humor, but I'll say like the opening, the whole trying to like put someone on hold thing. I liked it. Uh, I know you didn't, but I. I liked it I, it was so poe i think i would have liked it later like as the first thing that happens in the movie fair enough yeah if they had I had think some, they were like, trying to capture that who talks first you talk first thing and i don't think it worked uh yeah well i can understand that i think maybe it would be more well received if we saw some like battle first yeah i don't know i was just like really this is the kind of movie we're gonna be mm-hmm. <laughs> i was like oh man I uh, liked it. But it turned it around for me. And really fast. I also liked the Octu introduction. Oh, God. I where thought he throws that was the great. lightsaber. Yeah. <laughs> he and takes she's like, it. Master Skywalker. Yeah. <laughs> Chucks it and just walks away. Her, it, like, it just like, like a gas. The, uh... Int- oh, oh uh, Ray talking about, like, what the Force is. Yeah. <laughs> or, it was it was great. <laughs> yeah, he slaps her with the little branch thing. <laughs> oh, I reach out. And she, like, physically yeah. <laughs> reaches out. I can feel it. Oh, can you feel it? <laughs> yeah, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it was... It was almost like an opposite of the Luke Yoda interaction. Where, like where it's like so yeah. like deep. And... <laughs> well, not so much that. It's just that Luke and Rey were both really eager. But <laughs> like Yoda was kind of putting on a little show to start teaching Luke a lesson immediately. <laughs> and Luke is just actually trying to get her to leave. Yeah. <laughs> it was, I don't know, it was funny. Funny to me anyway. Oh, and the um, moving rocks. Oh yeah, end. that was pretty cool. Loved it. Mm-hmm. Loved she it. goes from the little pebbles to the big rocks. Also love seeing the X-Wing, but kind of sad it just stayed there. Yeah, dude. It. You mean on Noct 2? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I was looking forward to a force pulling it out of the water. Right, yeah. Maybe that would have been too on the nose Maybe as it far would've. as ESB things go. Yeah, but I want it. <laughs> I mean, I will say, though, I still stick by I got everything that I truly wanted. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little sad that we only saw him ignite the green in a flashback to where he was considering killing his nephew. <laughs> yeah. That, talk about not expecting something. Oh, detail. Leia being the one that opens the, the door. Oh, on, yeah, the breaking in. And on yeah. Poe's uh, mutiny. Awesome. But I think we're kind of running out of time here for a 30-minute no! podcast. I know. There's, there's just so much. so much. And there's so much we probably even missed the first time. Oh, absolutely. So, yeah, there's tons. You can now chat with us, DM us on Twitter. You know, keep, let's keep spoiler free. Do yeah, your keep, part. Keep spoiler free in, in the in the public. But yeah, hit you us up with whatever you want to talk DM about. DM us. You can email us. So uh, DM us at hyperspace underscore pod email us at hyperspacepodblast at gmail.com. And you can check out our website, hyperspacepodblast.com. We may be putting our thoughts there as well because there's just too much to contain Exactly. in our 30-minute podcast. Yeah. And I guess, closing thought, where do you go from here? Man, this felt like an end. Yeah. this. <laughs> someone forgot to tell Ryan that he wasn't closing it out. <laughs> I know. I mean, obviously, there's places to I think to we're going to have some time gap. Yeah. I think we're going to get a time skip. Maybe the boy from Canto Bite becomes a Jedi. I don't know. But you know what? I am appreciative that it's not a cliffhanger. Yeah. I'm appreciative because you know what? You can end a movie without it being a cliffhanger and the ending is good. Mm -hmm. And And you still have places you can go forward. Exactly. And I think this did it. Yep. Good movie. A plus. Let's see it tomorrow. Okay. Good thing we already have tickets. All right. Bye. Bye.